we have a section uh, that we call overrated or underrated. So we give you a question or a topic and you tell us whether you think it's underrated or overrated. Okay. Sounds good? I should. Winning a Nobel Prize. A, you know, a lot of people say that winning, winning a Nobel Prize uh, could become problematic because you become very famous, you get invited to a lot of committees, and you also have the add-on pressure that you need to work on these big problems. And usually, important problems, important ideas start with little acorn. Mm -hmm. So, winning a Nobel Prize, underrated or overrated? Um. Probably overrated, I would say. Mm. Um, uh, but, but you have to remember, people do react to it in very, very different ways. I mean, some people, um, one of the things that happens, as, as you essentially said, is that you, you get all sorts of invitations to, uh, to go to meetings right. in nice places where you meet, you might meet people in quite different walks of life. You might meet um, journalists, politicians, whatever, whom you would not have done if you had not got the Nobel Prize. Uh, some people take that up and um, uh, and uh, accept all these invitations. Um, other people, at the, at the other extreme, there are people I know who've got the Nobel Prize who have simply not allowed it to affect their lives at all. They've right. just gone on working in exactly the same way as they've been right. doing for the last 30 years or so. I'm sort of somewhere in between in the sense that I, um, I well, I used to get a lot of invitations to forgive purely physics talks or public outreach right. talks. I used to get a lot of those even before I got the prize. Uh, they've sort of doubled, I suppose, off I've got it, and I do tend to accept those because I, I believe it is important to um, uh, to propagate uh, scientific ideas to the general public. But I don't usually accept the um, the invitations on Capri to make, meet with the politicians and journalists and so forth. Right, and the other argument is also that Nobel Prize, like winning a Nobel Prize signals the end of your... <laughs> project right because it, yeah. it means that you accomplish what you wanted to like you you've proven mm -hmm. it and the world acknowledges you for it so it's it's kind of like the end of the project which may or may not be true in some context but that's another argument which also people make like yeah well again it depends a lot, of, a lot on the individual right i mean i think uh, to be honest i don't think i've done a huge amount of of uh, i mean if i had to name the things i'm most proud of in my scientific career, most of them before 2003, which is the year that I got the prize, right. um, not after, but I don't think that has much to do with the prize, it just has to do with the fact that I'm getting older. Mm. Mm. Uh, had, it, uh, had I not got the prize, I probably wouldn't have been the same. <laughs> <laughs> so.